Welcome everyone, this is Alex. I do, yeah. And we are at Island Menace. Can you hear that? Yes, very good. So excited to finally ride this. The first roller coaster built specifically for Dorney Park since 2005. So very excited to see this entire area, how it's been transformed, get some rides in. Uh, we'll have more videos, of course, when the park opens for its soft opening preview days. Ooh, this looks so nice so far. Yes, this is the former monster plot. Now it's going to be a nice seating area. And the steel yard. I do like the atmospheric fog and everything. The sipping container. I like that. That's a good pun right there. I know our friend Jeff who's on the channel quite a bit. We'll be there quite a bit this season. Here is the steel mill where you can get those chicken sandwiches and pierogies. This is not theming, this is, this is a media truck. So, whole area just looks very nice. I like that they even rethemed the signs with different finishes and everything. And lots of lore. So, I think we will do a full, like, in-depth tour of the area in the coming weeks. So look for that. Today we'll give you a sample of things. But, yes. And they've done a little bit of retheming to possess as far as the sign goes. So, got rid of the voodoo kind of theming, made it look a little bit more that it fits. Yeah. And then the steel yard gifts. We'll take a look in there quickly. And then the whole big seating area right up there, the central tool annex. While we're waiting for the ceremony to begin, we might as well give you a quick look in here. Lots of different t-shirt styles. So if you didn't think that preview shirt they had last fall was uh, for you, don't you worry. They got you covered with hats. Fake Stanleys, right? They're not real ones. Mugs. I like this one right here. Ariel loves it. That one's yours, right? Maybe. Maybe. Then lots of magnets. Two different styles, it looks like. And some die-cut ones as well. These are the wooden ones. The ones I love the most. Different Stanley style. Hi there. How are you doing? How are you? Very good. Oh, yeah. There we go. More shirts. And then some merchandise for the other rides as well, and the posters that they've had for a few years. But there's Iron Menace poster, Banana Coaster, a pennant, Fanny Pack. That's pretty crazy. I like the Steel Force shirt, that is pretty awesome. And Hydra. And then a lot of stuff we've seen before, and then a Thunderhawk 100th anniversary shirt as well. It also comes in a sweatshirt. Are they going to allow us to buy stuff? First drop of the day, all right. Yay! Uh, Tumblers are cool. Oh, there we go. Lots of magnets and stuff. All right, we're not going to show you too much more before the actual riding and all that stuff. But just take a quick look at the area. We've got about a half an hour until the remarks go on. We'll show you a snippet of that. But uh, here's a little effect at the bottom. Kind of like you're smashing into a forge, I would say. That's pretty cool. And here is the Iron Menace sign. Looks okay. I like it. For 140 years, Dorney Park has delivered millions of wonderful memories to generations of guests. From time-honored roller coasters like Thunderhawk, which, did I mention, turned 100 years old this year. Happy birthday, Thunderhawk. Good morning, everyone. I'm really excited to be here on behalf of the creative and design teams that worked on this exciting project. When we envisioned a new thrill ride for Dorney Park, we knew we needed to de design a completely unique experience to the Northeast. And in doing so, we wanted to make sure it was rooted in the Lehigh Valley and the unique industrial paranormal history that is in the area. Guests will be immersed into the story of Steel Baron Hiram McTavish as they enter his cursed factory and board this one-of-a-kind thrill experience. We partnered with 
world-class roller coaster designers B&M to create a dynamic dive coaster. Iron Menace isn't just about an investment in our park. It's an investment in our community and region. It's furthering our commitment to support the Lehigh Valley economic development for another 140 years. Who's ready for the 160 foot climb, 95 degree drop and 64 mile per hour speeds? Who's ready? That's better. Who's ready to flip 180 degrees, spin 360 and experience the world's first tilted loop on a dive coaster? There you are. If you're ready for all this, today's your lucky day. We are now gonna watch as Iron Menace makes its first 160 foot climb. All right, here we are getting into the area. Looks like we'll have a wait time sign possibly on the entrance. That's nice to see from Dorney Park. <laughs> oh, look at this. Wow. wow. Look at the finish on the rails. So nice. This is it never you never have to worry about it. And here's the extended queue. No coverings like in the renderings, but looks fun. I like the theming of it. You're definitely more excited than I am. And I'm excited. I'm excited. But like you are just like when you heard dive coaster, how Although, my excitement launched a little bit after Emperor's layout. After what? Going on Emperor. It's so short. But I'm so excited. I thought Emperor's layout was kind of simple. Yeah. Talk to Luke. Just got off Iron Man's for the first time. What did you think? Wait, we sat in the front center. Yeah. I was amazed at the top of the level. So I didn't know the like bottom land was more like a fire pit. Yeah. It was pretty cool. What, what did you think otherwise? Uh, elements and everything. Yeah, I, I need more than one ride to get a good reaction, but I'm so happy it's here and I can't wait to go on it more. And it's smooth, it's a unique layout. Yeah, I was, just, I was yeah. a little concerned having another roller coaster you know, built by B&M here that's looping no, everything, yeah. but I think it. It, it's, just, it's its own thing. It, yeah. You don't think of it. I feel like Hydra and Talon feel more yes, similar to each other than yes, than yeah. this to those. So exactly. I think that's good. That's very good. Uh, pretty smooth. I mean, they're a little little re little shake, but it was it yeah. Feels weird being on a coaster in a place you've seen, mm -hmm. and you're like, wait, where am I? And, and two other roller coasters yeah. on this plot too. I've been on one of them. You've yeah, been yeah. On both. Uh, and I, I, the thing we really got to mention is 48 inches height requirement. Yeah. The restraints feel pretty similar. I don't, it maybe it felt a little bit tighter, I think, on the regular seat, but of course, there is a larger seat, so I liked it. It's, it's a great kind of addition. Like smaller dive coaster, so it's kind of miniature, you're not that high up when you're looking down, right? But. Yeah, I liked it. It's a compared to anything like this, like I liked it more than Emperor, uh, I don't know, at SeaWorld San Diego, so it's really good. I think the most important thing is it's it's a really good fit for this park and this plot of lands is really needed something to revigorate like this part of the Dorney Park because I feel like you always have such busy crowds at the top of the park and they never even on a busy Saturday never quite get down here so I think that's going to help with the flow of the the park a lot better oh, yeah, and yeah. This down here now can we talk yeah. about the uniforms? Yeah, the uniforms are amazing. I don't know if that's a temporary thing or a no, permanent thing. They're wearing it there too. I know, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll report on that in future videos, of course. Uh, we're going to look around and uh, hopefully get another ride on it. Here's a quick look at the uh, MT buckets. Looks absolutely fantastic. Fits in the area really nicely. 
Looks nice and fresh. Load the center. And there she is. Really need to step back and take a look at how well done the whole area is. Like it's truly the first themed roller coaster here at the park. And it's definitely weird to have, uh, even though I did Baron, it's so weird to just go straight and out of a turn. Yeah. I like it. And you can hear the lift hill speed up. You couldn't hear that on Baron, really, because it was so enclosed, the bottom of the lift hill. So that's kind of a fun little sound effect. Love the entrance with McTavish steel. It looks fantastic. It really does. They did everything right. How many invasions does it have? <laughs> it has three. I was very interested in the soundtrack. I like, I like it. It reminds me of what was. It reminds me a lot of what was in the house, doesn't it? Yeah, it reminds me of Halloween. Yeah, what was in uh, the Ghost in the Machine? Yeah. Oh, Ryan, what's up, so, man? Uh, yo. yo, what'd you think? That was really good. Yeah. That's my first mini B and M dive I've been on. Okay. The whole ride was just fluid from start to finish. Like just every element flowed into the next one. A lot more forceful than I was expecting. So I was graying out of the bottom of the first drop here and a couple other moments on the ride. Zero G here, it's super floaty, it's really nice. The tilted loop is also very forceful. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. I, I like some of the bigger ones, but that big course just kills the pacing so much. It it's does. just yeah. it's just one element after another. I love it. Yeah, so like you get that second drop with the mid course ones, but this like you honestly don't need it. Like this drop is great and then the layout's awesome. So yeah, yeah. Like, honestly, I feel like this is kind of the way to go. I wrote Valkyrie the day this was announced, I was like, please be like this. And I'm like, yes, yeah. just like that. Yeah. I gotta get on that one day. But. Oh yeah, there it is. And a worthy replacement for laser, finally. If you like Stinger, if you didn't, still, it's worthy replacement for laser. All right, try not the Iron Menace American Lager. Ariel does not like beer, so her reaction is probably not very accurate, but let's give it a try. Do not make this the <laughs> Wow, okay, that, that's a compliment. All right, let me it's give it a try. No, it's a very light beer. It's a very light beer, not bitter at all. Okay, the second one did. Okay, we'll cut that one. Not. Here with Matt from Coasters and Brews. Hey, He's got to tell us about the Iron Menace brew, what he thinks of it. I got you. Let me just, I've already tried it. I've had like five little cups, but I'm going to give you a little sip real quick. Okay. Uh, man, that is just so good. Every time it hits, I personally think it is the best beer in Pennsylvania. The best lager in Pennsylvania. Sorry. Okay. Going above, that means it's above Yingling. Yeah. Better than Yingling. Yeah, I, I can see that. Better than Yingling. What do you think, Dave? It's better than Yingling. Better than sure. Yingling, man. It's gonna be a nice summer beer too. Oh yeah. On a it's hot day. Very light and refreshing. Oh, very much so. Yeah, it's it's awesome. And uh, could we go? Dare I say, best lager in the world. I don't know about that, but it's really good. Oh, it's really I mean, good. I mean, when you're competing with German lagers, come on. <laughs> but yeah, but in Pennsylvania, yes. German Pilsner specifically. Yes. Yeah. All right. It's a great beer. Uh, cheers, me, bro. Yeah, and what did you think of the coaster? Oh, Iron Menace. Um, so, this part right here. First drop into the Immelman. I hit a little gray out. I don't know about anybody else. It was intense. It definitely pulled some G's there. It's a good ride. Um, awesome addition, I feel like, for Jordy Park. It, it really pops off in the skyline when you're, when you're um, coming up. And uh, just, it looks great in this part of the park. I, I really dig it, man. I, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it, but after my first ride, I got to get a couple more rides. But I'm really liking it. And when I, uh, um, if I'm going to think about it, as far as the three smaller B&M dives go, uh, this would probably be two behind behind Emperor, above Dr. Diabolical. So I okay. thought it was good. I liked it. My name, I think I'm like between uh, taking Baron out because that's like a whole nother league. Uh, Valkyrie this and then Emperor. Okay. I have not done Dr. Diabolical yet. Okay. So. I have not been on Valkyrie. Uh, I have been on the one at Hyde Park. Yeah. That one's crap. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't very good. The theming was good, but that yeah, was so short. The theming's phenomenal. 
It's what to expect when I ride a Bolivian, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's just one drop, and then like what, a turner. A turner. Is it, does it even have an inversion? It has like one inversion. Yeah, it has an inversion with the station. water break at the bottom yeah, of the first. Yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. weird. Yeah, super strange. Yeah, but right. yeah. Good yeah, addition, yeah. Yeah. This is gonna be the best edition. <laughs> My favorite edition of the day. Yes. All right. We're actually on our fourth ride now. It's gonna be our final ride today. We're gonna finally try out the back seat. Middle was way more forceful, so I'm really excited for that back seat, right? Yeah. Um, I like the change, the on the S on the bottom. Yeah, and the the uh, I think the floorboard is also kind of uh, textured yeah. with the theming as well, because. It, it doesn't look fresh, but it looks, it fits the theme for freshness. So, yeah, it's really interesting how there's, they modified it so there's only a comb at the front. There's only a floor at the front now. So, less moving parts. And I think a lot faster dispatches as far as like a floorless coaster goes, which is really cool. Can we mention that it's floorless? Like, no one ever talks about that about, about uh, dive coasters anymore because it's kind of like, like, Forest Coaster's like not dead, actually, is it? No. It's just turned into a dive coaster, which is kind of funny. Can I say my reaction? Okay. It's a good set on twice, like a kid's coaster. <laughs> well, at Journey Park, uh, you can ride twice if the park is not busy without getting off. For now. For now. Uh, it's going to be pretty busy. <laughs> Beautiful trains. I love the paint job on them with the red, yellow, and orange and the gray. Fantastic colors. And I love the gate. Uh, the gate at the front, how it's all themed out and everything is just so thought out. I love it. Wow, this is just amazing. We're going to yeah. Palzo? Uh, 160 feet. Wow, okay. And how fast are we going to hit? 65 miles per hour. You did everything perfect. Let's go. <laughs> and what you can't see is the three, the Pinnock view we have of the park is amazing. But now, oh my goodness, we're just hanging here. Saw our reaction. I guess I put that in there, and uh, but then we took one more ride in the back seats. Yeah. And that was uh, I my first time on the edge. You rode it in your second ride on the edge. The, the second row. Yeah. On the edge. And then you second and Yeah. It's so uh, don't ride on the edge. Yeah, it's really shaky. Unfortunately, I think that's the only thing I have to say neg negative about it. And going into that final, exiting that final turn, there's a weird little jerk. I wouldn't say it's painful, but it's a little jarring, right? Would you say? No, it was like really shaky, and I did not appreciate it. Yeah, but it wasn't like headache inducing. It's just almost for me. Okay, almost for you. For me, it was okay, but that's just something that's kind of concerning for your brand new roller coaster. Hopefully, that's something that the park can adjust. At, uh, like when we did X two, you said, "Oh, the edge is more shaky." This is. Yeah, I'd heard that a little bit with these seven acrossers. Because it's really pushing the limit, I feel like, of the regular B&M track. Because, yeah, yeah, that was, the, I think, the allure of doing seven in a row and not having to have the big, expensive B&M track. And I don't know. But regardless, it's a good ride, and I don't yeah. think people are going to complain too much about it. But it's a little, a little concerning. Hopefully they can iron that out. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. And it might run a lot smoother once it's a little bit warmer. You know, it is a little, it's not cold, but it's not hot. It's just, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, I think we showed you everything. It was a great event. Thank you to Dorney Park and Ryan right behind us, actually. <laughs> the other Ryan. Uh, to uh, For inviting us out. I appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad to hang out here all summer long and uh, come out here in the evenings and take a few rides on Iron Menace every uh, few days. It's going to be great, isn't it? Yeah. All right. 
by the Spinalics for the Coaster Spot. And Ariel. like, comment, and subscribe. And as I said, we'll have many more videos here from Iron Menace, including the uh, preview days for Iron Menace. I don't know if we're going to make videos this Sunday. We might just enjoy ourselves. But definitely next weekend with the preview of the entire park because Steel Force has a new control system. And there's some other changes around the park that we definitely want to highlight. So, bye.